Okay, this is our patient. We have done deep face lift and uh, neck lift for this patient four days back. Today, day four. So today we have done a first dressing change. So already we can see the results in the early post-operative period itself. Uh, though there is a little bit of swelling, uh, but still you can notice very tightened and young uh, look of the face. So we have done a uh, deep pain, deep plane face lift. So this is the suture line. So hardly visible to on a profile view that is uh, because we strategically place that in the junction of ear and the cheek region and we extend it behind the ear. So no, practically no scars will be visible from the front. So, and we close with a very fine suture. This is the sutures we use. So that will take out after uh, another one week or so. So now there is a swelling, but you can see there is a tightened, uh, we have done a tightening of the smash plication, that is called smash plication. So you can see very clearly, you can, there is a very tight cheek, skin and the mandibular uh, region. And neck also, you can see very improved neck, uh, neck, uh, neck profile. There is a very clear uh, obtuse angle of uh, neck and the submandibular angle. So and even neck incision is very uh, strategically placed in the neck crease line. So it's hardly visible to the, from the front. So and you can see already tightened and all the platysmal glands which were there. Now all the brands are uh, not visible. So we have done a platysmoplasty, platysmal muscle tightening. So you can see very flat, young looking uh, neckline and uh, its jawline also has improved very well. And now we'll do the dressing and then uh, this is the very important part of this surgery. This is the compression garment. We usually, this is most of our plastic surgery procedure. We advise this compression garment. So this is particularly made for uh, facelift procedure after facelift procedure. This is the compression garment. We usually advise after uh, facelift procedure. So the, this goes like this because this uh, reduce the edema. This lift the skin even more. And this is how it goes. And there is an opening for the ear to uh, come out. So this is how uh, this pressure garment should be worn. So this will advise the patient to continue at least for three weeks. So it will help in reducing the edema and also helps in uh, reducing any inflammation also helps in uh, reducing the pain in the post-op period. So you can see the patient in the post, uh, uh, post-op day four only it's very, is very comfortable, no, not experiencing any uh, discomfort or pain or anything. So today we will change the dressing and usually we will discharge the patient on third or fourth day. So we're planning for discharge this patient after the dressing.